I've decided to do a different post this morning. Um, my 5k run on New Year's Day has been a rather reflective one. Um, I'm happy to admit I've had a few tears on the way around. Um, 2015 was one of several quite challenging years for me. Um, I, about three and a half years ago now, um, lost pretty much everything uh, that my life was about then. Uh, it started by losing my job due to education cuts. I lost my job as a teacher, um, which then resulted in my life partner. Uh, we've been together for 16 and a half years now. Uh, three and a half years ago, uh, he had to move away um, for work. And uh, we still don't share a home together. And uh, I get to see him if I'm lucky a couple of times a month. Um, and that's hard, that's difficult, I miss him. Um, and then I had to sell my house, uh, a dream house that um, I designed and had built and, uh, and sold that. And then the sale fell through. And in order not to lose the house, with no income, I had to sell everything that I owned. Um, that was very, very freeing though, an incredible, incredible opportunity um, to get rid of all the stuff that you think is important and certainly isn't. Um, at the same time, I also um, lost quite a few uh, friends uh, through this process, um, ending up with just a handful, uh, which I have to say are still there. And I'm very fortunate to have gained a few more friends in, in that time too. Um, so yeah, it was challenging and some things have really improved. Um, I have share now with family. I've moved back to where my family lives. So I see my family a lot more, which is um, incredibly rewarding and fulfilling. Um, I still have my dogs, my dear little pugs, which bring me joy every second of every day. Um, and work. I've, I've succeeded in some things with work incredibly well. I've managed to pay bills to keep a roof over my head and feed myself and clothe myself. Um, and uh, for that, I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of myself. Uh, I've been self, fully self-employed now for 18 months. And, uh, but the reality of it is, is that the last two months, uh, November and December, I haven't had any work. And uh, at the moment, I have no work in for January. Uh, that's quite difficult for me to admit to. A lot of people seem to think that I'm incredibly busy uh, because I'm good at what I do. I know I'm good at what I do and I know people appreciate um, the skills that I have and the knowledge that I have. Um, for some reason, uh, I find it very difficult to get work and certainly for the last 18 months, I've managed to live hand to mouth and uh, that's about it. Um, however, the work that I do get to do it makes me the most uh, fortunate and rewarded person I know. It's incredibly fulfilling. Um, I, I get to share a gift that I have and make things better for people. Um, and that makes me so rich, so incredibly rich. Um, and but I've reached a point now, I've run out of money. My savings have gone um, and I'm embarking on 2016 with no bookings, no work pending, um, living apart from my life partner um, and just a sea of uncertainty ahead of me. Um, and at the same time as being scary, that's also incredibly exciting. Uh, but one of the things that I thought I would start this month with is being honest and saying things how they actually are and hopefully inspiring people that, you know, life can be very, very difficult and things can be challenging and um, we never know what's around the corner and all we can do is keep going. And if there were an award for persistence, then I would absolutely be on the New Year's Honours list for that. Um, I, I'm not gonna give up. I mean, what's the option? The option's giving up being miserable and having no life. Um, that's not an option for me. So I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep persisting, and I'm gonna take some of my own advice. 
I tell people, do what you've always done and you'll get what you've always got. And if you want a different outcome, you have to do things differently. So this post today is the start of that. I am going to do things differently from this point on. That doesn't mean it's going to change me as a person. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have different values and different beliefs um, because they've served me really, really well up till now. But what it does mean is that I'm going to stop pretending and I'm going to start being honest and I'm going to share. And um, hopefully that will inspire. Hopefully that will encourage others to, to see that it's all about perceptions and that life often isn't what you perceive it to be. Um, and, and if this little bit of honesty with me, and I think there's going to be more honesty to come, um, and that excites me, that really does excite me, uh, then I hope this can help. Um, certainly helps me. And part of the work I do, particularly when I'm in businesses, is about getting people to be honest. When I'm working with private clients, it's about getting people to be honest with themselves. Because the minute we start being honest with ourselves, then we can start shaping a future that we want. So uh, this is my first post of 2016, where I've been incredibly open and honest about uh, my life as it is right now. Um, I'm also incredibly hopeful and uh, I will continue being positive and continue smiling and just have faith that something somewhere will happen and in the meantime I will do everything within my power to ensure that come the end of the month I can pay my bills because that's that's the least I need to do. So uh, I hope you all have an amazing day and um, have a super year ahead. So take care of yourselves and I will speak to you again soon. Cheers. Bye.